It's August 9th here. We just got dropped off. We got less archery goat hunt. Be a good time. 10 days of adventure. And Roberto's here too. the end of the day here end of the first day we spent a good good chunk of the day looking at uh, the valley across from us the drainage we're in we hiked up the back end here looked across the other big drainage a bunch of mountains over there we haven't seen anything uh, up that way uh, behind us here we've seen uh, six sheep and I think another uh, five or six goats so there's animals out, just not what we're looking for yet. Uh, we'll be getting up early and we'll be hiking kind of around this range, uh, more north, and then uh, checking into a couple new basins, new area tomorrow. No way, no way, day two. Pack just snapped. Pack strap. This might uh, could probably use this, I think. And I didn't bring my extra pack this year either. <laughs> That's why. I don't know. That might work, fellas. Just gonna have to adjust it. Boys, boys. She's gonna work. Maybe that extra buckle's there just in case. They engineered it. The pack specifically for a strap malfunction. This is back a little further. A little bent on me there, a little higher. I think it's gonna work though. Can't just roll over and die here. Give up. All right. Might slow you down enough that I might be able to catch up in 15 minutes rather than fucking a half hour. <laughs> All right. Just got to uh, bottom of the drainage here. Look back up a kind of a hidden little pocket up there. Kind of wrapped around the hill a bit. There's a bedded goat. Check it out. Get the scope on him and see uh, see what it is. Just dropped our packs at the bottom of this little basin where this goat's hanging out. He's in a really unapproachable spot, especially with uh, archery equipment. So, yeah, we're gonna head up there and have a better look, get a good look at him and see what, uh, what kind of goat he is. He's got up out of his bed, he's starting to feed towards us up onto this ridge that we're on right behind me. So we're gonna try to close the distance on him on this, on this ridge and uh, hopefully get a, hopefully pop a shot on him.
first. Pretty cool anyway. We've uh, spent majority of the day on this one little ridge, glassing the big valley in front of us, waiting for this goat to come maybe pop his head out on this basin. So far he has not. We spotted three goats across the valley, look like nanny and kids. Uh, one stone sheep, a ewe. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna just perch up on this ridge for the night. Uh, we'll probably head down into the valley bottom and move around to a new new basin tomorrow if he doesn't pop out and show himself tomorrow. So just keep putting on the miles, checking the basins, checking the ridges, and just locate more. All we can do. Just woke up, got out of our tents, and there's a billy on the ridge we're sleeping on. 
I'm uh, a little surprised we got another opportunity. No. Third, third time's the charm. Good job. Give me a hug. <laughs> it's all you, man. It's all you. You made it work. Oh, we just finished uh, processing the billy. Got our packs full of meat, shoulder mount, horns. Probably end up standing another night right at where we're set up. Got some fuel, and the jet boil, we got some spices and some hot sauce. And probably enjoy a little bit of a uh, goat backstrap. Take it all in. Less, uh, less is pretty, uh, pretty grateful. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun.